So in the most recent episode of my podcast, Your One Black Friend, I discussed the importance of breaking free of limiting, rigid, institutionalized thought patterns, patterns which confine your perception of reality and limit your ability to think freely and creatively. Now keep that in mind and let's shift our discussion a bit to an exploration of time. So in my ancient earthlings video, I theorized that in the 4.6 billion years of Earth's total existence, the likelihood of our current civilization being the most technologically advanced civilization to have ever walked the face of the Earth sounds a bit sus to say the least. I mean, look around. Now in my singularity of technology and consciousness video, I suggest that our civilization achieving singularity could simply be the firing of a neuron in the brain of a super intelligence, of which Earth is just one neuron. I was asked this question by a subscriber, and the question was, if our world is a neuron in a super intelligence brain, and the singularity is a neuron firing, do I think that this process starts over? And my response to that was, yes, I believe it's all a cycle. If you lean into my earlier point about our civilization not being the most advanced civilization to have ever walked the face of this earth, there's a probability that in the 4.6 billion years of Earth's total existence, these past technologically advanced Earth civilizations also reached their versions of a singularity, or fired, to use the neuron analogy, and then reset, and then fired, and then reset. And that's just part of the natural process every time the superintelligence thinks. And if that's the case, and we are on the precipice of firing or achieving singularity, then what's next is another reset. Now what I think happens before another reset is that we shift from biological to non-biological and then from non-biological to non-corporeal or non-physical, only to then begin a cycle again. And by we, I mean our collective intelligence or collective consciousness as presently confined to corporeal form. Bearing in mind that I define intelligence as consciousness because I personally believe the two are the same. They just vary in levels of complexity. So. I think intelligence or consciousness simply cycles through various forms through space-time over and over again in an infinite loop. But hey, that's just one theory on the nature of reality. The idea here is not to come up with solid conclusions, but to think freely. So tell me, what do you think of this theory?